What's up everyone? I'm recording this video on Tuesday, October 5th, 2021, and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 66 Fahrenheit, 19 Celsius. And I'll be walking Broadway today from the Charging Bull statue all the way to Chinatown. The Charging Bull down here in the Financial District, very popular tourist attraction as you can see. It was installed by this Italian artist, Arturo De Matica, and it's been here ever since. It's been moved around a few times, but supposedly if you touch the bull, it's good luck. And also, it's not just the front that people come to take pictures of, but also the rear. over here. Just look how shiny those are. <laughs> Anyway, we're here in the financial district. There's uh, 26 Broadway. This is the standard oil building. This part, uh, part of Manhattan is pretty much where New York started. It's colonized by the Dutch as New Amsterdam. About this time, you have a mix of tourists and the people who work down here walking around. It's good to see that the area is coming back to life. Broadway is more traditionally known as the center of the theater district and the midtown area where Times Square is located. But if I were to walk up there, it would easily be another 40 minutes or so from where I'll end the video. Gregory's Coffee, pretty popular down here. How much are postcards here? 99 cents each, and they also sell stamps. And these postcards are 10 for $2. Or 25 cents each. can take home a giant Statue of Liberty or the Chrysler building for $84.99. It's always a challenge maintaining buildings around here. Let's take a look at this one over here the American Express building and they've got construction crews lined up right on the side of the building. This is a huge development going up called One Wall Street. Going to be a lot of condos. I can't wait for the scaffolding to finally get removed.
actually it was a uh, 61 Broadway that had the scaffolding and the construction crews. 65 Broadway, the American Express Company does it. This section of the scaffolding finally got removed. Yeah. So we're able to see this corner a little bit better. This is the Bank of New York building. Across the street from it is the historic Trinity Church. Looks like right now they're power washing the Bank of New York building. Here's probably the most famous street here in the financial district, also synonymous with the neighborhood itself, Wall Street. I'll go down there for a little bit just so you can see a panorama of the New York Stock Exchange, the Federal uh, Hall building, and the JP Morgan building. Area of the New York Stock Exchange. The famous Federal Hall National Memorial where George Washington took his oath of office to be the first president of the United States. Here's the JP Morgan building. This building just past the uh, Federal Hall is 40 Wall Street. This used to be the tallest building in the world. For a very short moment until it was surpassed by the Chrysler Building. And the front of the New York Stock Exchange Looks like they just listed uh, Scion, C-I-O-N, uh, ticker symbol. Oh, this is new. What's going on here? There's tons of men's in suits coming out. This is why I think of traditionally when I think of wash men in suits. Men, women in suits, I see women too.
pretty cool. And over here we have the Fearless Girl statue. It was installed to um, bring more attention to uh, women's rights and white collar jobs. All right. Looks like all these people are going into the New York Stock Exchange. And I would assume now, now that I think of it, maybe they're going to be ringing the closing bell at 4 p.m. because right now it's about 3.15 or so. So they're gonna get ready to ring the bell and mark the end of the, uh, the day session for stocks. The symbolic end anyway. Because the stocks don't stop trading when they hit the bell, it's all done by uh, computers. I think that's the only time I'm going to veer off of Broadway. So it's like a kid. It's worth doing because it's so close. Here's the frontal view of Trinity Church. This is the uh, third version of the church that's on the site. Inside this church's graveyard, you'll find many prominent figures of history buried inside. No, like he did it bloody. Alexander Hamilton's grave is uh, one of them. Now this building over here to my right is famous because it was built very high at the time and it is the Equitable Building at 120 Broadway and it was built so tall that it blocked all the sunlight in the area. The city didn't like that so they enacted what was called the setback laws which required tall buildings to be uh, layered in so it gets thinner at the top to let in more sunlight. That's why modern day skyscrapers they have that wedding cake design. These are two um, buildings that I like a lot. One's the Trinity Building and the other one's the U.S. Realty Building. They're like almost twins of each other. Oh, 
Oh, this uh, sidewalk didn't used to be closed off like this before. Across the street from me is Zuccotti Park. The Occupy Wall Street movement at their base over there. I didn't even see what happened. I just uh, jumped because he was coming at me. So I probably tripped somewhere. It's a pretty popular McDonald's restaurant. This Gap store has been uh, not stocked in a long time. I wonder if they're planning to close this location permanently. Times are changing a lot. To the left, we see the remnants of the defunct Century 21 department store. It's a New York City-based institution that unfortunately could not make it. Coming up on John Street. Over here to my right is the Fulton Center, large transit hub. Um, complex in Manhattan cost 1.3 billion dollars to make and this over here 195 Broadway is the AT&T building headquartered in 1923 as the American Telephone and Telegraph headquarters. If you didn't know what AT&T stands for, now you do. And here's Fulton Street itself. To the left of me, we've got the World Trade Center area. And this is the uh, most prominent building in the World Trade Center complex, the One World Trade Center. Originally, it was dubbed the Freedom Tower. Across the street from me is St. Paul's Chapel. This is the oldest building of religious significance in New York City. George Washington used to go in there and actually pray. It's also known as the little chapel that stood because 
after the September 11th attacks, debris from the buildings didn't um, affect this church at all. I mean, the chapel. And it was saved by a tree. The tree got all the damage, but there wasn't even a scratch on the chapel itself. That's why it's called the little chapel that stood. This over here is Park Row. Long time ago, this used to be called Newspaper Row. All the major newspaper publications had their operations here. Just because it was uh, the most practical place for them to set up. It's right here next to the New York City Hall. So they have all the access to the political news and also the shock news nearby at the Lower East Side. And also the financial district, of course, so they can report on all the uh, activity going on there. But I kind of tease where we are right now, and this is the Civic Center, New York City Civic Center. This building here is the tallest uh, building for the New York City government, the Manhattan Municipal Building. This building over here, very unique. It's called the Wil uh, Woolworth Building. Large uh, former department store, Woolworth department store. And it's unique in that it's a skyscraper that's in a neo-Gothic style. So if you look closely, you have like gargoyles and medieval figures all around and inside the building. That doesn't mean anything to say, By the way, you may also see the street signs across the street. It says Broadway, and underneath it, it says Canyon of Heroes. And the reason why that Canyon of Heroes is there is because whenever there's uh, major parades, they'll usually host them here on Broadway. Like I remember when the United States uh, women's soccer team won the, um, the finals, they had the parade over here. And many of these parades that go down Broadway is, are known as ticker tape parades. Because um, even though stock trading is done electronically, back then it was all done by paper. So they have all this excess ticker tape and they rained it down on the parades. That's why it's a ticker tape parade. Seems to be uh, getting pretty quiet over here. The New York City Hall building. This is the oldest building that still houses its original function for government use in the United States, New York City's City Hall. And because this is the New York City Hall, there's often demonstrations and protests around here. Debt forgiveness now.
Right now, the uh, yellow cab drivers are protesting, wanting better conditions. Here you can walk right through City Hall Park. Be careful if you go at this time because um, you may step on some ginkgo leaves and those leaves, they leave off a tremendous stench that's quite unpleasant. As I walk up Broadway, I'm glad that a lot of the scaffolding that's been persistent on Broadway for so many months and years has finally been taken down. Like this building over here, it used to be home to Models, but Models is no longer the uh, store here, it went out of business. And we get to see this gorgeous clock on the corner, the sun. This building over here with the uh, grand columns is the headquarters of the New York City Department of Education. Many people will remember it as the Tammany Hall building. Probably one of the worst times in New York City history for corruption. Mr. Tammany was mayor of New York City and very corrupt politician, stole a lot of money from the public. Actually, I confused it a little bit. I knew I was wrong. Mr. Tammany was not mayor of New York City. It was actually Boss Tweed. And that was called the Tweed Courthouse Building. He was the political boss of the Democratic Party political machine. was never mayor of New York City. But he was a member of the New York Senate. And also a member of the US House of Representatives. Sidewalk is closed. We're going to have to go around. This over here is also part of the Civic Center. 
This building over here is known as the Federal Building. And during its construction, they actually found remains of African Americans buried underneath the ground. So a lot of their remains were uh, gathered and tried to be identified. And there's a monument there now called the African Burial Ground. You can go and see it. It's free to attend. a pretty hidden Burger King. Very small one. Here's Wharf Street and it seems like every time I come down here there's endless construction. They're still replacing the water pipes underneath. Some of the architecture around here is really impressive. Forgot to mention too that we're in the neighborhood of Tribeca now. Actually, everything from here to the west is Tribeca. We're pretty much on the border of the Civic Center and Tribeca. And we're almost to our final destination of Chinatown. Tribeca is an acronym which means Triangle Below Canal Street. And Chinatown's borders to the west are at Broadway. Here's the famous Blood Manor. New York City's most epic haunted house. Here across the street is 368 Broadway. It's an old building, but it's made famous by legendary YouTuber Casey Neistat, who has a studio in there. Also, my friend uh, Jennifer O'Brien just moved in there, and she has an art studio inside as well.
This over to my left used to be the former location of the Pearl River Mart. But I think they've moved to uh, Soho again. They've moved location, they've moved locations many times already. Pearl River Mart was a uh, retail store specializing in different uh, Chinese themed goods, lanterns, paper crafts, clothing. And they were always known to uh, throw some very nice parties for Chinese New Year. I've even recorded a few uh, lion dances here at this location. Alright, so I've approached the entrance to Chinatown at Canal Street. And this is where I'll be ending my video. If you enjoyed this walk up Broadway from the financial district at the Charging Bull, all the way up to Canal Street, then be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, folks. Take care.